happened as everything had calmed down. I am not someone who can condemn others for murdering anyone, so just say they did well. I understand. I'll turn a blind eye to it. Really? I swear by the gods, Mors, we're in your debt. You can ask anything of us, anything at all. Did you see anything that might be of interest to me? Well, there might be something. Ever since that accident, I've kept my eyes open. And I did notice something strange. When everyone was gathered in the common hall, flowers posted guards at the doors. To keep you out? What's strange about that? The strange thing was that I saw one of the guards speaking with one of the suspects. All right, who was it? They had their hoods up, so I couldn't tell. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but when you came to question us, I remembered that it seemed a little suspicious. Sir, no name. Well, I knew it wouldn't be that simple. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help to you, Moors. It shan't be easy to follow such a portrayal. Don't trouble yourself with it. I'm used to such problems. If there are traitors amongst us, they'll not reveal themselves gladly. But I have ways. Alright, well there's two down. Let's go. Can we talk to this guy? Bartram, we need to talk. Moors, that black-hearted Flowers is accusing me of treason again. Yeah, let's do it later. Relax, Bartram. I'll be back soon. There's no chance of me going anywhere. Alright, let's just go ahead and check this guy out. Hmm. I kind of wish that I didn't slow down whenever I pressed right trigger to get this scent. It's a little bit annoying. Also, didn't the other... Yep, the other one led this way too. Ooh. Now this is interesting. Let's see where he went. Went upstairs. And he ended up going over here. An extraordinary must containing written notes of debts owed signed by most of the Night's Watch as well as several hundred copper coins. That did not take me where I wanted to go when I hit back. Alright, well that explained what Jonas was up to. Alright, so let's see what this other guy was up to. Aw, oh, crap. Is he going outside? Damn. Or maybe he's not going outside? Is it? Oh, here it is. Westford, what in the seven hells are you doing here? Why did you leave your post? What are you sticking your nose into instead of watching this exit? What were you doing, Gwen? I have the right to stretch my legs. Why don't you mind your own affairs? Why don't you shut up before I hit you right in your nose guard, sir? Show me what you were doing in there. Nothing that concerns you. Go back to where you came from, Moors. Consider that a friendly piece of advice. You were charged with watching the doors, is that right? Can you explain why you were filling Bartram's bag with supplies while under orders to watch the doors? Damn! You were not supposed to see that. Oh, don't worry, everyone else in here. I'm just gonna murder this guy. Alright, where's my interrupt? Let's go with that one. Then, where's the bleeding and the one that does extra damage for bleeding? Alright. Prepare to get rockets, sir. I did not expect you to survive these three moves. Well, but you did. Or, I kinda started my next move, I don't know. No. Gosh, that dude's so pissed off at that bird that he didn't even give a shit when we killed him. 
fellow member of the Night's Watch. Let's see if that actually takes us. No. Oh, damn it. It did take us where we wanted to go the first time. Stupid me. Alright, so. Huh, that's cool. Actually, have him wear that? No. Bartram Sense is on this leather bag, which contains lots of supplies as well as 20 silver stags. Janos' loot. <laughs> yup. And so it looks like Jonas has just kind of racked up debts and other things. Really? That's why I got three copper? Wow, way to go, dog. Seriously, bro, stop. You're creeping everyone out in here. This, this is Jonas. Alright. You've really made a name for yourself recently, Butcher. No good comes from coming up against you. But I was named Butcher before this, so apparently I did something beforehand, too. <laughs> How is good old Jonas? Look, it's the king of the wagers. How are you faring, you old wineskin? I can't complain. I'm doing much better than lots of young lads I've seen recently. I've been around too long to be seduced like they were. The hells can wait a while longer for me. I'm sure you'd be quite capable of haggling with the stranger when he comes to take you away. Indeed. Anything I can do for you? Mm hmm. You know all the dealings that go on around here. Have you seen anything suspicious lately? Trebor is even more on edge than usual. He spends his time whispering with Arthur. I don't like it. Trebor is a simple halfwit. Maybe he's been manipulated by someone. It wouldn't be the first time. Anything else? Well, I'm not sure of this, but Grants came to see me earlier. He wanted a place in the next game, but I refused because he's up to his eyeballs in debt. And? And he paid off his debts just like that, in one go. Years of debt settled all at once. I think he owes me an explanation. All the same, don't go too hard on him. He's had a tough time for longer than all of us put together. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to you about your secret stash. Eventually. You've really made a name. Yeah, we already heard recently, that. Butcher. No good comes from coming up against you. Look what I found while rummaging around in the common hall. How did you find that? I've been using that hiding place for years. No one can hide anything from me. Gorod learned that to his misfortune, and now, so have you. Calm yourself, Butcher. Just think about it. In your hands, you have proof that I had nothing to do with this corruption. All I can see is evidence of your greed. Wait. Let me explain to you how it works. Most of our brothers will never be able to settle their debts with me, but I'm not really interested in their coin. All they're losing to me is the power which I can hold over them in exchange for favors. It makes my life a little easier. Three quarters of the brothers here at Castle Black owe me favors right now. You can't even begin to imagine how long this took me. I have a role here, a position, a good position. I'm too old to find my place elsewhere. All of my cards are now on the table. No tricks, no weighted dice, no lies to fool you. I've told you all I can. With everything you told me about Grants, and now this, it started to pile up. I'm going to discuss this with Flowers. Well, I'm not sure of this, but Grants came to see me earlier. He wanted a place in the next game, but I refused because he's up to his eyeballs in debt. And? And he paid up. I think he owed. All the same, don't go too hard on. And that was the first conversation loop I think we've had in the game. Which isn't bad, because I've had plenty of conversation loops in my time. Hello, Grants. I feel like you're going to die very soon. Grants, old friend. How long have you been at the wall, old man? My boy, you'd be better off asking me if I've ever lived anywhere else. I actually came to ask you something else. I'd better night in a whorehouse that you've come to talk about trees and moors. I've already spoken to Adam. He's a good lad. A shame he's so serious. What can a wrinkled old man do to help you, my boy? 
Tell me about our visitors. You spent some time with them, didn't you? I mingled a bit, yes. As I usually do when we have guests. It's rare to have fresh news nowadays. I don't let opportunities like that go by. And were you able to find anything out? Anything? Like what, for example? Like gold changing hands, or one of our brothers accepting gold from Godric, for example. Gods be good. No. No, I, I don't think I saw anything like that. Mm. We should test his memory some. He is getting old. You don't think so? Or you don't know? No, I didn't see anything of the sort. Are you certain? I'm sorry, I can't help you any more than that, my boy. Uh, what happened? Hmm. Um. Yeah, he seems a little nervous. And Moors is a Sith Lord, so let's go with this. Listen to me clearly, Grants. Some of our brothers have betrayed us. And certain people think that you're involved. That cannot be! How... how... how dare you! So, I will ask you once more, and once only, are you sure you cannot help me? Well, there are Arthur and, and, and Trebor. They've cut themselves off from the others, and they both seem really nervous. Interesting. Anyone else? I also saw Bartram speaking with Donnelly just before you left. They went off to talk in private. That's really as much as I know. I hope this proves useful, Mors. It might well be. Thank you, Grants. Now, go warm yourself up. Well, I already took their care of those guys, and I wanted to convert, ah, confront him about paying off all his money owed to that guy over there. Maybe I have to go talk to Flowers, or... Was that his name? Anyways, the guy up there next to Mormon. Let's finish talking to Bartram first. Bartram. We need to talk. Moors, that black yeah, we heard flowers this. is accusing me of treason again. Let's hear his excuse. He didn't try. Are you certain? I told you. I didn't exchange a word with that minor Southron lordling. Yet Grants saw you with him. I don't understand. Hold on. Maybe I do remember. Yes, we traded a few words when I took him to the top of the wall, but nothing of any importance. He asked me what life was like at the wall, if I was proud to be a member of the Night's Watch, that sort of thing. Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? Now that you mention it, he seemed very curious, perhaps too much so, but he didn't offer me anything. And that's all? Nothing else? You mean apart from Trevor seeming even more on edge than usual? He's usually quite a nervous man, but he's become damn dangerous. Something's not right, if you ask me. I will look into that. Anything else to add? Jonas seems to be having a run of luck recently. He gave credit to several brothers, which is unlike him. I will see if all this leads to anything. All right. But yeah, we already heard this. Moors, that black-hearted flowers is accusing. And yet, look what I found, thanks to your friend Gwen. Shit, a bag full of Godric supplies and gold. How do we explain that? What's the good in denying it? I, we were planning on taking advantage of the other deserters. Those fools would have fled straight for the south with your dogs hot on their heels. With Donnelly's gold. We could have bribed the sentries, and had time to disappear. While you two went up into the Wildlands, right? You know the Wildlings as well as I do, Moors. A brave man with a sword can carve out a good life for himself over there. I'm fed up with freezing my rosy ass to defend a kingdom that doesn't give a damn about us. We're as good as dead here. We've taken an oath. We are the Watchers on the walls. And what oath was that? To never fuck another woman? To die lonely and miserable. You don't even give a damn that all this is a lie, Moors. So now what? Hmm. Uh, let's have Mormon judge him. The old bear will decide your fate. Horseshit! There's only one punishment for what I've done. I won't let myself end up like Gorold. Are you resisting arrest?